from Carolina. Yes, it's raining. Yes, we're live. George is here too, working the boards for us. Thank you, George. If you want to call in and have a question, 704-570-1110, 704-570-1110. But I'd rather you keep your hands on the wheel and be safe if you're driving <laughs> uh, and uh, not crash. That would, be, that would be positive. But you're more than welcome to call, and we're, we will put you on the air and, and uh, help you with any question related to real estate that you would like to ask. So, Preston, we were talking about negotiating repairs, right? And the myths involved with those. Um, the the one the, the interesting thing was that I think in a home inspection there is an expectation that um, you will uncover every every single thing. And by the way, I forgot to give the number, or maybe I did. Seven zero four five seven zero eleven ten. Hey, Derek, how you doing? Um, so. What what uh, what do you say there? Is it, isn't that a reasonable expectation? That you don't find anything? I don't have a problem with that one. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, sometimes uh, you know I, I forget. Good, I think that's a good. One. I forget my crystal ball and those. Wait those, a minute, hold on. What, what were those glasses that you used to get see through? Uh, <laughs> you know that 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 sort of thing. Um, you know, it's just a picture in time of readily accessible areas. You know, we can't see through walls. We can't predict the future. Um, and and I hate to say this. You, you know, some of these shows, now here comes the d cease and desist letter, have promulgated this myth. <laughs> and, you know, I actually have a friend that, you know, a home inspector that has some inside knowledge of some of those shows. You know, it's that deal where, you know, they rip up the, the whole kitchen because there was a leaky faucet behind the wall. Right, and the, ki the full kitchen remodel with Class A appliances is like $8,000. Yeah. yeah. All right, so hold that thought for a second. Okay, hold it. Um, <laughs> so what happens is, you know, I want—I was thinking about doing a reality home inspection show, and I got to checking in. You know how much it costs to get a a, 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 a film crew out to, to do it one episode? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Work. And you know what's compelling TV is drama. You have to have guaranteed drama because okay. you can't have you can't afford for those guys to come out every day until something dramatic happens. So we have to know uh, something dramatic is going to happen. Uh -huh. So. Sometimes people are remodeling their kitchen anyway, in your example, yeah. and they're like, all right, they're going to remodel it anyway. Let's see if we can find something that could s cause that on the inspection report. Any danger. Yeah, we can manufacture some drama. Right. I mean, think about it. Honestly, I mean, I love what you do. I love what I do. And there is drama. But most days there is, which is a good thing. Yes. You, could you afford to pay $24,000 a day for a film crew to follow you around uh, on, on the off chance that there might be drama that one day? Well, it, when it comes to the property management company, better be chance there's <laughs> more drama because I'm dealing with tenants. I, but, my, but, yeah, I get my, the my, point. My inside yeah. story on that was the people were planning to remodel something anyway. <laughs> Yeah, and sure. You see what I mean? So, but but this creates unrealistic expectations that you know we can see behind that kitchen cabinet. We That's can't. true. That's true. You can. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, Fred. All right. Buyers don't belong at the home inspection. That's uh, oh, that's a big. Yeah. No, we recommend that the buyers come. Please. Um, you know, too. they may not want to come for the entire inspection, but at least come for the end of it and the recap. Because you know we're going to explain the inspection report, go through the pictures on our computer, and at this point they have um, opportunity to ask us questions. Um, the inspector is also going to show you where all your cutoffs are, your water, your electrical, you know, just a lot of good home maintenance stuff, and give you some tips. Just a lot more, you know. You you talked about that communication. There's a lot better communication and less chance of a. Um, a callback or misunderstanding down the road when they come to the inspection. Well, here, case in point, I mean, have you ever read an email, Preston, and the intent of the email is very different than what the person who wrote it? Right, meant. right, yeah, because I'm, as I'm typing it, I'm smiling, making a joke, thinking I'm clever, saying a, you know, sarcastic little joke, but then you read it and you're like, what, what the heck is he saying? How dare he, he didn't realize I, I was joking. You know? Do you think a home inspection could be misinterpreted? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So that's why I love it when buyers go, is because then they can ask questions, they can get some communication around that inspection, and get clarity. And over, it makes a big difference. An overwhelming majority of 
problem is, or not that we have a bunch, but when they are, overwhelming majority of them, the buyer did not come to the inspection. And I really think if they would have came there, wow. it, it would have. Uh, and you know, a lot of times too, you know, you get this call back, you know, that you missed something or whatever. We go back, it was on the inspection report. And they weren't at the inspection, you know, they probably got the report and they had to sign all these other papers and just, they were overwhelmed and they probably didn't even read it. And I think if they would have been there at the inspection and saw the picture and heard the inspector tell them, I think it probably wouldn't have gotten to this. You know what I mean? Boy, that's for sure. Board speaking, but that's for sure. All right, so, um, oh, oh, I can't believe you put that in there. Brand new homes don't need an inspection. How many times have I talked about that? <laughs> yeah, Ooh, there's put that one in there. There's a myth. Yeah, it's brand new. It doesn't need to be inspected. Um, I'll just give you a quick story. Brand new house. Um, I crawl under uh, under the house, okay. under the uh, bathroom there, and I'm looking up, and I can see the bottom of the bathtub, and I see where the drain is. And I can look up and see yeah, the light in the thing. I'm like, wait over here. And I'm like, hey, Paul, turn the water on. Right on my face. It, they never connected the tub. It was a brand new house. I mean, the thing with a brand new house is, you know, in a, a long time ago, you go way, way back, a builder built everything from start to scratch. Now, I mean, it's basically a number of subs, contract, subcontractors, and somebody managing those subcontractors. Right and you have different levels of subcontractors and skill sets and you know and you also have different you know guys in charge of them you know sometimes things get missed corners get cut and you know somebody everybody is working for the builder you need somebody who's your advocate checking out for you yeah all right as a matter of fact you must know barbara because here she's here she comes with a great question hey barbara how are you I'm fine. Are you staying dry? Oh, All right. Well, keep both hands on the wheel. So, what's your question? So, so what I think Barbara's saying is, you know, that that she uh, she wonders if it's better for the buyer to choose the ins inspector. Is that what you're saying, Barbara? Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. I see. Now, what you're was saying. the realtor? Uh, was she the listing agent on the house as well, or she was just uh, your buyer's agent? Ah, well, there you go. Okay, okay. Yeah. I think I understand your question now a little bit better. Um, well, two things. Um, I recommend, honestly, uh, that the the both people get an inspection. Yeah, I, I was just going to um, say. I think that the uh, seller should get an inspection to find out if there's anything major wrong with the house. Right. That, could cause a potential blow up on the back end. Um, but then I think the buyer should also get their own inspector. Uh, number one, because they have a fiduciary duty to them. Um, and number two, things can happen between the time that, you know, mechanical things right. could have been fine last week and the air conditioner not work this week. And, you know, quite frankly, I think four eyes are better than two. I'm not sure that came out quite right, but um, I definitely recommend the buyer um, get their own inspector. Um, now, I know a lot of times they ask the realtor um, for advice, and I know that could also be a question. Should I go with the one the realtor refers, or should I find one myself? Um, I would ask for the realtor's opinion on who they like, and then go check that person out online, the reviews. Um, you know, call them, ask them if they can send you a sample report, uh, ask them if they can give you some references, um, that sort of thing. And if that doesn't come out satisfactory, you know, I would ask around to friends, you can put it out on social media, um, you know, who, 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 do you, who do you recommend, you know, for an inspector? I mean, nowadays, thank goodness, because of social media, there's that good and bad, but that's, that's one of the great things now about social media. You can just throw a question like that out there, and you'll get the good, bad, and the ugly. Yeah, next door, you see a lot of that yeah. going on in the next door website.
so sorry. That's got to be frustrating, Barbara, for sure. But we appreciate the question. Now stay safe and stay dry, and thanks for calling us. Thanks, Barbara. All right, take care. 704-570-1110. The show, Your Real Estate Today. My gosh, we're moving so quick. We'll be right back with more Your Real Estate Today. Preston Sandlin, Paul Jamison. News Talk 1110, WBT. <laughs>